Uh, Fran Hearn came from uh, the Blast Off Power Wash, and he's contributing in his, in his time. Uh, yesterday and today, we have cleaning the memorial, trying to get these marks up from these vandals who come in the memorial and mess it up. And I, I have friends that were in the military and everything like that. And, you know, I, I never went, so I figured, you know, I can help out, you know, any way I can. So it's like my barbecue and everything like that. And, you know, it's, it's just, I don't know, I look at it like it's just us inviting them home and welcome back, barbecue, good American barbecue. So. It's really not a celebration, Memorial Day. It's a reflection of all our servicemen and women and our police and firemen and women who was killed in the line of duty and, you know, who served our country. It, it brings peace to me coming down here and cleaning it and having it nice. There's 646 names on the wall and they're all like family to me. Every one of them. I think it makes you feel a little guilty because, you know, it's to me, it's sometimes it's just really great to have a three-day weekend off and um, just a relaxing time. And, uh, you know, well, maybe at church we spend some time thinking about those sacrifices. I don't necessarily think do that on Memorial Day. All it takes is a couple seconds of your day to reach out and talk to someone who served and thank them for their service. And if you can do more, definitely do more. But there's no reason you can't find someone and just take a few seconds and say thanks because they really do put their lives on the line for us. Well, I'm gonna get all my family together and give a cookout for them. Then we're gonna go to the grave sites where my parents and family is and put flowers on their grave. My father's a veteran. So he'll get an extra flower for serving his country. To you, the veterans who served their country for us, and I thank you, Obama, for bringing the boys back home. I felt like it pretty accurately captured how the, the same kind of malaise we fall into every Memorial Day, where we're all excited about grilling, and there's an entire thousands, millions of people in our country who aren't going to be home for that barbecue. We're going to be out and in the worst possible places in the world and they're doing it out of honor and out of for our country and it's important to enjoy your hamburgers, enjoy your hot dogs and enjoy family but also remember those who can't have that and are sacrificing for us.